Welcome Scorpio to your in-depth weekly forecast for week commencing the 13th of May for the Ascendant, the Sun or the Moon. On the screen now I'm showing your event chart and as ever we need to be mindful of the position of the Sun and the Moon. The Moon starts this week in the water sign of Cancer and of course you're a water sign so that's really asking you to embrace your intuition but in house nine also it can see you uh, desirous of some flexibility or some change doing things a bit more spontaneously but that moon position links pretty well perfectly to the sun uranus and jupiter in your sector of relating is there a link well i feel there can be so whether it's around a business relationship with a friend within your family or perhaps a personal context your ability to be open-minded this week is really going to be very helpful and part of the reason for that Scorpio is that Venus the planet of relating forges a very solid link with Saturn at the start of this week encouraging us all to think about what we have not necessarily focus on what we don't have so for example if you'd like a relationship but you don't have one that particular aspect can just say well actually no one's clogging up your potential so that's looking at your situation in a more positive light if you are in a relationship and it has gone for on, on for some time celebrate the things you share in common instead of being focused on what doesn't quite work but also on monday mercury the planet of communication emerges from a long period of rather frustrating niggles it's emerging from its post retrograde shadow if you recall mercury moved into your sixth house on the 10th of april now mercury likes the sixth house it's where we can grapple with details be more discriminating clear up any uh, jobs that have been outstanding but because mercury went into a retrograde on the 1st of april through to the 25th there may have been some delays around appointments or snags or little things that went wrong that caused quite a lot of tension now mercury coming out of that post retrograde shadow is going to see it move into your sector of relating on wednesday and something that has felt a bit brittle between you and another person can be cleared simply by being a bit more detached accepting that not everybody does necessarily see things the way we do but also on Mon Monday at the start of this week the Sun applies in a conjunction to Uranus Uranus has been pushing you since 2019 to think about relationships in a different way you may have gone through some quite choppy conditions since then but you may have also experienced some really delightful exciting energy but all of it hasn't perhaps been very constant what the sun applying to Uranus can do is remind you of the upside of being more open to uh, being a bit more fresh in our approach so if you're in a relationship it's pretty good but maybe it's got a little bit routine that combination is encouraging you to be a bit more spontaneous to do something to revive the passion between you now if you're single that combination is saying look could you approach your situation and how you can make contact with others with a fresh pair of eyes and it could be that somebody can give you some really good advice to help now by wednesday uh, mercury moving into your seventh house will really help but also then venus connects to uranus later this week well that could see some kind of electric connection to someone that you're not expecting the sun then applies to jupiter by the end of the week do you know your relationship setter is looking more and more positive so whatever you start this week with scorpio whether it's your mindset in other words your relationship to the relationship or it is an actual relationship or it is someone you encounter things can turn out better than you may expect so do stay very very open-minded because the sun's conjunction to jupiter towards the end of this week suggests that you can make a connection to do with business an idea a friendship in a social setting or romantically that could prove to turn out to be 
incredibly lucky for you. Thank you so much for having joined me. Have a great week and do remember to check out that special offer on my personal horoscope reports for your tropical or your draconic 30% off. Please see the link below. And if you've yet to support the channel, please subscribe and do click or tap that bell notification symbol. Thank you.